I had to warm up the GoPro. Hold on. I'll explain to me, you can run over here and I'll explain what's going on. Turn off the tractor so you can hear me. One problem after another. We had trouble with the crane. Right here. Worked on it. Got it fixed. And so now I'm going to put it back in service because we need to go and buy some propane. So there's the crane going to use the Derrick off of the trailer and we're going to put it onto the beast. Not so fast. The truck died. Turns out my camshaft position sensor failed. I have a auto ingenuity computer software. It's a diagnostic tool and it'll read all of the codes off of these old 7.3 liter um, power stroke into wonderful software. Anyway, so now I have to fix it. So I went into town today and got stuff. We'll talk about that. But we beat, it's a job going into Alpine and back in a day. So anyway, this is what's going on. And uh, I'll uh, continue this video tomorrow. Well, the project has not gone well. I think the expression is, uh, I'm in uh, some big doo-doo. I want to start the truck and you listen to it. I replaced, oop, let me get up here, interesting camera angle. I replaced the uh, camshaft position sensor and uh, I'm not getting any uh, trouble codes. It says everything's fine. It doesn't run and uh, I'm not really quite sure where to go next. I have auto ingenuity scanner uh, tools and I hook it up and over here let me zing down they can see I have the connector there and I hooked uh, I hook it up to my laptop where the software is installed and um, uh, I go and I look for diagnostic codes there are none it says everything's fine so now what that means is that there's something wrong, but it's not enough to drop a, a, a diagnostic trouble code. So what I need to do is to go and look at all of the sensors on here, see what the values are, and then determine what's causing this problem. Well, the problem is, this is a frigging goddamn nightmare. Uh, to deal with. There are hundreds of sensors all over for to do everything and there's nobody knows can tell me exactly what to look for. You have to go through there and know something. Okay, I'm willing to pay a mechanic a lot of money to fix this because this is a wonderful truck and uh, uh, so right now it's just a pile of scrap metal and it's got 300,000 miles on it. It's been trouble free and so the question is, well, gee, Bob, why don't you just go out, get a mechanic to fix it? It's over an hour 
from the ranch. Hear me swing out. You can see kind of like where I live. Okay, everybody's seen this story. Uh, come back in here. It's over an hour from here to a paved road. Once you get to a paved road, then it's a ways to a mechanic. Uh, the mechanic uh, we have here locally, uh, he's a good guy, I like him, but I'm not sure that his uh, level is up to there. The next best place is up in Alpine, and there are a couple guys up there who are diesel experts. They can fix the truck, no problem. So, how do I get the truck up there? You can't drive it, it won't drive. I don't know what it would cost to get it up there. Nobody wants to come out here. I pay, offer to pay a lot of money to come out and for guys to come out and do a little carpentry with me and uh, no takers. So I'm not really quite sure how I'm going to resolve this. Uh, I have another shot. I'm going to go ahead and post this and um, hopefully somebody will look at that and say, well, gee, Bob, you big dummy, here's what you look for. Because my uh, auto ingenuity scanner uh, tool can go out and read all these sensors, except I have no idea which one to ask it to look for. And then when it finds one, I don't know what they, they should be when you get it. So I think the word I used was in a pickle. But I think my position is way beyond being in a pickle. I think I'm shafted. So anyway, uh, I'm just going to shut this thing down and uh, see what I can come up with some scheme. So I think I'll climb on my tractor and drive on over home. And I know this is not everyone's cup of tea, but I'm going to have a beer and hope it doesn't get over 100 before the next few minutes. Bye.